never like the one you do. do see me with the crew, I gotta get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. Tell I gotta glow in a Jimmy Joe's. Break the rules, no, you're not a fool, but I'm in the mood. Yo, what's up, man? It's Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. I wanna address a problem that I know is only gonna get bigger. The big I get on this YouTube thing because I have all intentions on being one of the one of the most lit and known YouTubers, but more importantly, hood journalists, storytellers in the world, and it starts on YouTube. But I've been seeing a lot of blatant racism and undercover racism. And I'm calling out all of y'all right now who watch my videos. And I know y'all under St. Laz videos and, and Vic Slang Hope, as well as a whole bunch of other people, man. I want to address all you corny, all you corny closeted racists, all you corny closeted non-black people, right? Mind you. Mind you, I'm a little bit more woke than the average black person, all right? I already know that the word black means empty, void of color. I know that my real skin color is brown. I am copper color. I know that I'm more comfortable with my people being called Niji, aboriginals. You know what I'm saying? Ad meaning from, originally meaning the beginning, right? I know who I am. All you non-black people that be saying all this dumb shit in my posts when I talk about what's going on in Rikers Island and and what's going on with black people, Hispanic people, right? Or when I make little posts about how three there's three young black kids who have the highest IQs, right? Cause I'ma address that situation and then a more recent one where there's um there's a black man who's like the oldest, most accomplished like lawyer in the country or something like that, right? And I don't know why I get the stupidest, stupidest, either blatant or closeted racist comments, all right? And I wanna tell all y'all right now, y'all look corny, right? Suck my dick. I also want to say, right? Right? Put it in your mother mouth, right? Y'all doing too much, okay? I'm not one of these black people that wants acceptance from anyone outside of, of my nationality. However, I'm somebody who naturally loves people, right? I'm a Pisces. I love everybody, right? I only hate people when they make me hate them. Other than that, I'm a person who normally goes into everything with love, all right? I'm a person who I'm able to move in a lot of different circles because I'm well with words. I dress well for any occasion. There's no such thing as being overdressed. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, I have white people that I that I have love for that I'm very cool with, and I got I well I don't know Asian people like that, but I'm sure I would have the same type of relationship with Asian people and then Hispanics. I don't even consider them to even be like non-black. As far as I'm concerned, they just light skin, and not all of them, and not most of them. A lot of what we see about Hispanic people, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? It's some systemic racism there too. And the darker shades of people don't get the camera put on them. So you'll think it's majority light-skinned people in these places, but it's not, okay? There's dark-skinned people in Asia, okay? Um, I think their name is called David Davidians, Dravidians. These are people who are my color, right? with Chinese faces that were in China in them areas first, okay? But they are the most disenfranchised people in Asia, right? What I don't like is when I posted that picture with the three kids and then I got somebody 
And then I got, of course, because it's always somebody with just a name. They don't never got their face showing. It's either a geeky avatar or it's just a letter from their name. And he had the nerve to comment on a picture where I'm talking about three young black kids that got nothing to do with him. Okay? And the meme was talking about how they had the highest IQs in the country, at least for kids, I think, or maybe in the whole country, right? And then this little, this, this little baloney smelling when he, when it, when he get rained on, dog smelling, right? This hillbilly, Huckleberry Finn, Huckleberry, Dukes that has it, mother. He gonna say, did you ever wonder, do you ever wonder why things like this never get blasted in the mass media? Maybe it's because it's actually not true. Maybe it's because you people are trying to be somebody that you're not. Just a whole bunch of like, like, like dumb stuff. Like dumb stuff. And this is somebody who I could tell has not been around black people. All right. Not comfortable around black people. Don't like black people. Like I'm tired of the like, where all this animosity come from from y'all? Y'all realize that for people who want to believe in slavery, Right? Instead of indentured servitude, which is more like what it really was, but people want to go the slavery route and say that, okay, a, a, a bunch of Europeans went to Africa, right? And forcibly took millions of Africans and brought them over here. And we supposed to come from that. Think of it this way. We've been through all that pain and suffering and then slavery gets legalized. We go through Jim Crow, we go through the clan, right? The clan, which was harassing our people so much that we went from Republican, right? To, I'm about to say Dominican, to Democrats. When Democrats never loved us and still don't. And I'm talking to y'all who voted for Biden and want to see Kamala Harris in office and all of that, right? They harassed us so much that we are afraid to be Republicans. Where all the animosity come from where we've been through all of this and we still choose to have love for people outside of our race. We still choose to not go crazy and go on a killing spree, which the right black person would say is justified. I'm not going to say it's justified because at the end of the day, we're dealing with the descendants, mostly descendants of people who've done all those bad things. And a lot of these people was innocent women and children. But... I'm tired of y'all that's acting like, see, it's privilege and racism when you feel like you got the right, right, to comment what a black man is doing, making a post, right, bigging up other black people. You have some type of privilege, right, and you're a coward because you know that if you were to say that in the same situation, how you really feel it to a black person's face, you know you would get beat up. You know you would get slapped. You know that. You know you will get slapped, but you do stupid stuff. Like I post a thing about um the, the oldest black lawyer or something like that the other day. Some of you have seen this post. There's this person who says, if everyone is supposed to be equal, why this, that, 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 and third? Man, you know you don't view yourself as equal to no black people. So why the hell you got something to say? I will slap you. Like, like at the end of the day, a lot of y'all need to get slapped. We live in a PC culture where everybody think that they could just say whatever they want, okay? My in, in my Riker Island stories, I, I halfway, I, I basically talk about street stuff. And I'm willing to deal with the consequences of that, you know what I'm saying? I stay afloat and people can respect what I do. You feel me? Because I'm not glorifying this. I talk about what happened and then I give encouragement for people to do better. All right. But a lot of people, like especially non-black people. Okay. Y'all feel like y'all can say whatever y'all want. And y'all feel like y'all can say whatever y'all want to us. Y'all feel like y'all can comment under these posts. And I suggest that y'all keep putting cartoon avatars in y'all profile pictures. I suggest that y'all keep doing that because people like me 
will slap y'all. But other than that, shout out to all my real right white people. Shout out to the white people, not the white people. There's a difference. Shout out to the white people. Shout out to um the swirling white women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout out to the white people who um cuz I don't believe people who say I don't see color. We all see color. But shout out to the white people and Hispanic people and the Asian people who know this color, know this race, but they choose to judge people by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. Shout out to the smart Caucasian and white people who understand that most black people are not like the propaganda that you see in the movies and on TV. Yes, a lot of us are that ignorant. Yes, a lot of us are that stupid, okay? But at the end of the day, stop the nonsense, all right? Because y'all animosity comes from where? Because at the end of the day, y'all people came somewhere where we was first, right? We so nice and always been nice. We taught y'all how to make crops. We taught y'all how to do the little Indian dances and stuff that y'all claiming was y'all's and stuff like that or some people that look Asian was there before us and they wasn't, you know what I'm saying? We were so nice that we brought y'all in and we allowed ourselves to get swindled out of everything that we own. So where is this coming from? Is it because y'all fear one day we gonna take our shit back? Is it guilt? Is it guilt? Where's the animosity coming from? Because it's not like black people are getting together and just randomly attacking white folk. It ain't like we doing that because we always been good people. Yes, some of us have been led astray. Yes, some of us have been ignorant. But let me explain something to you. All the ignorance you see black people do that you see in the news, it come from poverty. Poverty breeds ignorance, not race. I wish you all the best. And I hope I've reached an understanding with some of y'all. And I wish y'all the best. But shout out to all the real right white people, the real right white folk, the cool white folk, you know what I'm saying? Who don't say N I G G E R behind people back, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, subscribe, peace.